Okay, test one, two. Three, four, okay, five. I have to check what the heck happened there. Actually, I'll need to... Hmm, yeah, after this, I'll have to check. Apparently, my mic wasn't recording at all, so I... I hmm, I'll have to see if that's happened in the previous... Uh, if that's happened yesterday as well. Because, uh, yeah, then I might as well completely remove that stream if I... We'd been talking at nothing for an hour. Or at least I'd been talking at nothing with an hour. But anyways. Uh, <clears throat> Hello anyone who may be watching now or later. And welcome to Helian's Hub. I'm Helian. I'm along with... Drake here. And welcome back to Dishonored 2. A bit of a... Yeah, cluttered start this time. But that's because I had to hurry. Because I've been, well, busy with... Official stuff. I'll you know, say it. Yeah, I'll call it for now. Uh, so yeah, last time we finally managed to get to the freaking Clockwork Mansion after we spent like an hour and a half just trying to get to it. <laughs> uh, a good part of that was my own well slowness with moving forwards with this. But yeah, at least we're inside and we found Sokolov, who passed the hell out again. He's not dead, it... so don't worry. Uh, give me a second. 
hide the desktop items because that otherwise that is going to get a bit distracting with everything around the screen. Because yeah, I have the I have the game running oh yeah, I have the game running in windowed mode. Which yeah, just seems to make things run a lot better. So I think I'll just make that the standard. Just hide the desktop yeah, desktop items and turn the background to black for a bit. We still need to deal with that thing. So, yeah, how are we going to do that? Let's have a grenade, we can try that at the very least. Wait, didn't you break it? We broke its face, but not. we didn't kill it. Okay, I'm pretty sure I swapped it. Never mind. Swapped that. Actually, that might. Okay, that opens up that window. Oh. Thank you, this thing missing his head. Still not dead, though. Yeah, he's still. No, wait. Wait. I think you blew up something from it. Yep, it's missing. It's <laughs> missing parts. Yeah, he's missing one orb even now. Even without his head, you can still see it. Oops. Playback indicates some detection without certainty. This plays still not going on. <laughs> okay, yeah, we, these things are very clearly avoid at all costs. And yeah, there's certainly some magic going on. That it's and still yeah, freaking they, going. Successful. Playback for detect. Okay, shut it down. How was it doing there? Lost. I very much doubt that any of these are going to work. Yes. This thing is basically a torso and an arm, and it's still only, it's still going. There's supposed to be a whale <laughs> oil tank in that thing to destroy. Did you did, did shoot it? If it is the glue bits on its back. Was it noticing us. This play is if someone eludes the machine. Here. Switching to alternative tactical mode. The machine is experiencing uncertainty. Oh, oh. Enemy I had to notice I stood on that. How is it still sensing us? We need to destroy its arm as well or something? Wait! You did something! It dropped one of the... He only has one arm now! You seriously need to disarm both, all four arms, apparently. Looks like it. And this guy put a lot more voice work into this thing. At least in this, this prototype. And need it. Playback for the machine is over. Stand for the stupid thing. Okay. okay, so that's how you finally get rid of it. You need to, you need to literally pull every limb off of this. Oh. I think I just realized one mistake I'd done. Because, uh, well, it's not there. Uh, I'd set these, I'd, <clears throat> I'd opened up my you know, computer case to clean it recently. So that is probably also why it, uh, it didn't, wasn't recording the microphone there at the first. And let's see, did I, s Okay, yeah, that got reset back to 5.1 sound, which is why it's sounding so odd to me at the moment. Hopefully, just changing that part of the stereo should fix that a lot for me. Hopefully. Okay. The question now is... Um, I think for the moment, I'm going to leave him in, in here, because he, he is our prime target. Now. Well, 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 we, we need him alive, so I'm... I don't want to risk getting him killed during, uh, yeah, whilst we're trying to lobotomize our uh, 
narcissistic genius. Not yeah, and he said, he said something about your cuddling upbringing, which I want to say, her upbringing will probably not cuddled. Yeah. Okay, but at the very least, he's safe. I was curious to observe the rumored degeneracy of the Cauldron line. I beg your pardon? Best I can guess out of that line is that he means incest or something. And if that was the case, I'm pretty sure Emily would have come up looking a little bit different. I don't think it, uh, it first generation incest are noticeable at first, but the more you, it happens, the more notable notes what it gets. That's main laboratory. But yeah, I think he was. Uh, yeah, I think he was more just outright just insulting you. Okay, there's more of those things in here. Oh, he's up there. Oh, he, oh, he has one as a bodyguard, of course. And. I've been tripped the detection rig, I'm too late. Okay, that was up closer than comfortable. Ugh. Oh, let's see. Okay, it seems that all of these elevator shafts are going to have an override button. Okay, in case we need to get climb through one. At last, Imperial Majesty, you found me. Do you realize you're only the second person to set foot in this room in the most sophisticated laboratory in the Isles? Please, try not to damage anything as you die. Oh, shut up. Clockwork soldiers, dispatch this intruder! Kieran Jindosh. Find us first. This must be the electroshock machine Jindosh mentioned. Something. Oh, this one. Okay. I'm, I was so, half expecting that it would take us another freaking hour to get out him to that. Trivial game of cat and mouse. I have important work to do. Yeah, yeah, uh, sure. How do we get him into the chair? I'm guessing we just knock him out, grab him, and throw him in there. Hello. All right, enough of this. Come out and face me. I have to say, I, I really like the design of those things. They're very unique, yeah. But with this with all, they have wood for uh, uh, protective armor. Yeah. You might think you're Though, going to elude my clockworks, but you'll only end up teaching me, adding to my studies. We're still as have, I was yes, saying, we still have one last. He has uh, some, some very unusual vocabulary for his clockworks. Like, I just need yeah, an angle. I think we all know what the use of vocabulary for robotic golems and androids are usually registered. are. No, the Come on. Okay, now I just need to get up to him and knock him out manually then and... My clockworks! Okay, they jump down! Okay, what the. Combat protocols. Okay, they have stun guns. Okay then. For him! Is he alive? Goodbye, Grand Inventor. Oops. Did, did, did I just accident? I'm not sure how much of that was actually meant. I was trying to block him and then uh, knock him out, but instead, yeah, ow. Did end up getting him a shot? No, no, the shot. Yeah, I was the one that got shot. So, shall we leave it at that or. 
I'm not sure if we have a close enough save to save scum that. Never mind. Okay, that death was not <laughs> intentional. Yeah, the question is, should we reload from where we were at the very start of the stream for is that was not very far? Or did you save after you accidentally kicked him? We'll see right here. Okay. And now we also know that their sleep darts have a bit of an arc to them, apparently. Wait, there. you didn't... No. Come out in the previous game, they, game they went in a straight line as far no, as you could do. aim. Oh. So, not really a complaint, but more a thing... Uh, yeah, now learned, now avoidable. Yeah, a bit of un unexpected realism. Okay. Um, we weren't we weren't going to get him without alerting those things. Okay, I was ready for them to actually get to kill him and not you. <laughs> yeah, right. I was half like I was half waiting for a moment that it said that that actually the fall accidentally killed him. Oh. That is no wonder. The machine Wait. Has entered combat. Okay. Come on. Okay. Uh, reach. Uh, come on. Well, there was a fall reach. You're only too far. Triggering electrostatic <laughs> discharge. Stand clear. Come on, don't you have anything built in to not kill your user? Okay, put him in the machine. Last place if the machine is successful at putting down a combatant. Okay. We got killed mid transmission transition. Those things are going to be fun, aren't they? We may need to destroy them before we put them in there for they they're just gonna be in the way. Yeah. Okay, uh, oh, there's one white right before in us. Unauthorized okay. press. Oh, like that. Nope. Hit already. Who just does so of course it's going to be more that is. Enemy evasion. Successful. Not that successful. I am going to go back. Did it seriously not notice us there? Stem straight at us. Playback indicates lost enemy. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm guessing they don't have a lot of memory then. When this place search is underway. Oh well. Right, there's a one downstairs as well. Static discharge. Stand clear. Yeah. Let's get itself stuck because it's still freaking staring at us. Switching to alternative tactical mode. Uh, it, yep, still seen. Okay. Oh, now the other one's coming. Uh, ow. That, that is still not killing him, so. Let's just do a tactical retreat. The machine has lost its quarry. Wait for it to get bored. Quarry lost. Okay, this is open apparently. And it would have been just our luck if a guard was standing right there. We wouldn't have. Been Stay back. Oh, there. Uh, and I did not really mean to get up that high, but. Okay, I was expecting a lot more space between the floors. In the way. Triggering electrostatic discharge. Stand clear. I have to say, it isn't too surprising, really, that we use his own voice to give those things a voice. Two grenades. 
Don't mind if I do. I'm just trying to cross down the door now. Failing. Over. Okay, we'll take the advantage of that for a second. Where is it? There it is. Did that, did that not throw it? That was a failed throw, if ever I saw one. Playback for unambiguous enemy. Seriously, where the hell did I throw that? It, it looked like he was throwing that straight up or something. Unauthorized. Uh, that also uh, works. Yeah, we're going to have to avoid these things at all costs, aren't we? I think we are, we are forced to kill them. But they're only going to be in our way. Okay, I was... Are you going to be able to get us out of here? Try. I guess we'll just have to let it overheat itself. As we watch it... Uh, Wait, that's it, feet? Yep. Actually, that almost looks like an oversight. <laughs> yeah, definitely don't get into melee combat with these things. <laughs> yeah, I think you need some heavy armor to be able to handle that. Yeah. There was I, there was a pop up for a second there though. Some to interact, probably to slap on an override tool the or something. But there was a note that talked about that, and well, this time I think it's underway. Don't kill your inventor by stepping on his neck, please. Got to keep in mind the eyes in the back on that thing. Case in point. Grab you. And make a run for it. This playback should trigger in case the machine detects my own dead body. The machine should come back for it. He actually had a line in. <laughs> he, he actually added in a line in case the robot uh, found his corpse. Okay. Wait. At least he was prepared, but he wasn't. But... He wasn't dead, unless. I, I very much doubt that it can tell the difference between a, someone who is unconscious and the corpse. <sighs> Continue search. We are definitely when this place searches underway. Yeah, out at least. Uh, from it's alert now, so it's going to spot us almost instantly if it does see us. We're carrying him. Okay, let's just keep an eye on it a bit longer, see where it goes. Extending exploration of the area. Again, the, it feels like the line of sight of, from which enemies can spot you in this game is a, l a lot. A, stop leaning, Emily. Is a lot <laughs> longer now. Again, probably because the there is a lot more big areas in this game as well. But still. It does make sort of sense that if I, if, if someone was standing over there, they would likely notice if someone was walking around here at least. Now, actually, second to grab, oh, oh for more than I thought it was now the player. Conditioning Sokolov. I'm tired of dealing with my old teacher. I'm confident that I don't need him to simplify the design of this clockwork soldier. 
but without Sokolov it could take years to reduce the cost of each inner clockwork. To design a version that can be built with cheaper, more readily available materials and assembled by Duke Abele's half-witted factory workers, the Duke will get his clockwork army, I'll make sure of that. The question is when? I'll keep experimenting with the electroshock machine, trying to get it just right. If Sokolov can be made to help me, I'll continue using the machine on him anyways, as entertainment. All the more reason to put him through it himself. Another note. And a note. Kieran, it is my hope that the pale stars look down with favor upon your attempts to gain Sokolov's favor. But if the old goat will not bend to your will, I can offer an alternative to merely keeping him locked in your assessment chamber and then subjecting him to cruel electrotherapy. I've started a new effigy, cast in Sokolov's shape. Given time, I believe it might grant me some influence over your esteemed guest, Brianna. Okay, that name came up before. Yeah. Maybe it's one of uh, Delilah's witches. So, might be one of the witches has been in the asylum? But that's where we first heard the name, uh, her belongings were in the asylum. Yeah. For a moment I thought that was a big market, that something dangerous is to our right, but no, that's... <laughs> that's Jinjas' badass. Okay, and this... Put him in here, and move on with this. He jumped up to the other level, which is probably yeah, good. Is. Yeah, <laughs> it'll probably be a lot less uh, quick to notice us if we're down if they're down here with us. Yeah. Okay, the machine has detected something. Still idling. Take this opportunity to back charge second coil. General detection state indicates some detection without certainty. The machine includes here, and nothing further is amiss. Academy of Natural Philosophy. In your prime, the most sought-after painter in all the empire. My hero in younger days. Now, my puppet. If you're going to use this inelegant-looking device against me, get on with it, Jindosh. No, I'm not sure what you hope to accomplish. I must admit to feeling a bit of professional curiosity as to the function of the apparatus. Patience, friend. Patience. The sequence of events is important. You'll come to understand my electroshock machine, but when? Before or after that light leaves your eyes? And where does it go when it disappears? Who will tell me that? Has anyone ever loved the sound of his own voice as much as you do, Kieran? Perhaps the device could tell us that. No, sadly it cannot. But what it can do is take from you the thing you love the most. Your precious intellect. If you won't agree to collaborate on the next clockwork prototype, I'll use the device on that brain of yours, Sokolov. I refuse. If I'm to be a drooling idiot, at least I won't be bothered by any more of your rambling fears. I don't think we've ever been more in agreement with Sokolov than ever. Yeah! And now you try to say we are not the only ones who thinks Inkosh is Something in love with his own voice. It is bit definitely. Oh, sorry. Yeah. I'm thinking we could try and Play shoot out the heads of these two. Registered. That should make them less able to spot us, at least. But yeah, beyond that, uh, go on. I was to say, it's kind of getting very noticeable for he giving his clockwork unnecessary long dialogue. And yeah, there's, a, there's also an arc through the normal bolts now. The machine is lost. Wait, what? Why is there a death skull there? Yeah, 
Yes, we can still stab him while he's in there. Oh. I could put it, you accidentally killed him. Exploration of the area. We're going to need to feed it power, but how do we do Continue that? Search. Let's see. Anything in here? We hid in here earlier. Well, hid, more got cornered. Uh, what the heck? Uh, no, that's another one that we've seen already. We're going to have to probably fiddle with a lot of stuff up here. Those clockwork are going to be a pest. Let's see, we've already checked there. They're both downstairs now. Pull on that and that, so we're going to top off then. Uh, combat value. Okay. Let's see. Could we perhaps get a an yeah, an attack from above on, on these things. The machine Never like mind! <laughs> when this plays, check central rotor <laughs> Yeah, those, thi those, those things those things are going to be an absolute bane of our existence. So it's all the better that we're destroying the production. Yeah, at least we know they are not cheap to produce. Playback indicates some detection without certainty. What is this? The machine has completed another full inspection. The witchcraft? Uh, <laughs> is it woodcraft? Let me speak again. Yeah, you say witchcraft. <laughs> <laughs> And people say I at occasion do read typos. You read entire words wrong completely. Like last time you read carriage to carrot. I'm not the one <laughs> you're, you're not the one trying to guard this thing now after the hands called it. We survived. Maybe I can at least lure one of them away or something. Yeah, then. We are not if we need to use them as power source. Uh, wait. Oh no, don't. Either that or I. I really hope we're not supposed to make them shoot the machine. Hello. Brianna so Ashworth. just Brianna. Okay. Yep. Unauthorized presence. Playback for combat protocols. Head on in there. The machine is experiencing uncertainty. Why would a machine experience yeah, uncertainty? Successful. Increasing oil. The other one has lost us. Okay, the machine has detected something. Wait, what the? Oh, come on. Playback for unambiguous enemy. I'm definitely getting tired of these things. Okay, the machine has detected combat protocol. Well, this place, someone's an enemy by one of my machines. Okay, if we get killed one more time, I'm just going to put a knife through his throat. Because I would, yeah, I would rather be check up what we're supposed to do. Yeah, we need to power that thing, but with those two walking around constantly, that isn't going to be easy. Entering I don't know what the hell we need to, to do. It's not going to give us enough time. Enemy at rear playback. It's not going to give us enough time to look around. Try your out what the hell to do. Yeah, wait. Do they know how to open doors? Switch yep. Out. We need to go charge. Okay, the missed playback for unambiguous oh. <gasps> I missed you. We need to charge this thing somehow. Actually, maybe we do need to have them to charge it. You no, know, I'm the one who's supposed to be hiding, not you. The machine has lost its quarry. Playback for combat protocols. Come on, Chuck. Combat protocols. Not bad. 
shock, not shock and awe. But the thing about it, that's probably not it, since that risk him accidentally shooting his own master. Triggering electrostatic discharge. Stand clear. <laughs> Maybe it has some. I'm guessing it has some. Switching to alternative tactical yeah. mode. At least they're very vocal Combat about when, protocol six. when they do that. Cooling down. Yeah, nothing happened. Really fast. Well, okay. That works. That works Wait. perfectly. It must be one of these things we need to do to f get the power. For detection registered. Okay. Oh, okay. Welcome back. Come on. Why not finally sleep to be rid of one of them? <laughs> Okay, that does dark vision give some sort of hint perhaps. Wait! They did give it power! Well, that is place someone killed it. Uh, the machine was glowing! Yeah, it was already half glowing before, I think, so if it was oh. glowing to that level, it was not charged extra. But... Okay. Uh, what does this do? Configuration level. This turns this around. Okay. Okay, maybe there's one way we can trap one of them. This playback indicates that the machine is waking up. Don't tell me. If it is waking up, it's not active at the moment. So let's have a listen to this thing then. So many events in motion, each exerting subtle gravity. With Delilah, a new empire could be drawn, and all the old barriers broken. Much could be accomplished. My clockwork soldiers have played their part, but each costs more coin than a wealthy man sees in a lifetime. It could take years to find a solution on my own. But if Sokolov can be tamed, together we might refine the problems. Making new clockworks at a fraction of the cost. Whether I seduce my own teacher with the thrill of discovery, or whether I'm forced to apply the clamps to his flesh and turn on the voltage, no matter. The machine has completed another full instruction set. Did I accidentally? Yeah. I think I just accidentally swapped it out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, uh. that's one way to solve the problem. I had no. I, I started fucked off. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's half of have... our problem solved. I'm going to freaking save. I, I, I'm not going to get that lucky today anymore. <laughs> Uh. Okay, but where is the other one then? Uh, Up there. Okay. So if we can stay underneath it, it shouldn't be able to spot us. No. Entering combat state. One. Oh, that was another one. Uh. Okay. Maybe we can still lure it in here. Come on, get on. Triggering electrostatic discharge. Stand clear. Ow. Oh, this is not why I wanted to end up. Hello, money. You? <laughs> but I get the feeling once we trigger this thing to get out again, it's going to free the clockwork again. <laughs> and in worst case, there's now two waiting for us. Let's see. Sponsored by the electromagnetic, 
electromagnetism council and validated by the chamber of smoke and iron kiran jindosh has been banned for life from the academy of prior studies and the resulting honors including the test of transit encoding and the signal handling defense are hereby revoked and his work towards the title master of engineering has been formally rescinded okay we're expecting him to stash an actual degree down here. Uh, yeah, see, what well, was a degree, but nope, it was a band. Playback loop. <laughs> I'm just going to drop this here without breaking it. Did we? Did we actually get rid of it this time? Yeah. Did wander off platform there's that one that one was already there um, I can't see if there's another one there hmm. I guess we'll know once we walk back here and I probably should be using a lot more environmental destruction not, not destruction but distractions It's only been about, about half an hour now. Wait. Do you hear that? Uh, never mind. You were going to say, do you hear the silence? Yeah. But I was thinking, are they finally gone? Nice. No. Wait, where is the other one? Playback after the final field test. There it is. I don't see the other one, sir. Still idling. Take this opportunity to back charge second coil. Okay, maybe we did finally get rid of the other one. Three, two. I, I think we got rid of it accidentally. One thousand rotations. And suddenly the other one appears behind you like Slender Man. Keep out of sight of the other one. The machine is experiencing <coughs> uncertainty. Why would a ah, machine experience uncertainty? That results coming back in inconclusive. Now, how the hell do we charge this thing? Now, I can see wires, but they run from the final field to him. Hmm. There is. Right that thing that's very obviously charged with something. How do we connect it? The machine has completed another full instruction set. Do we need to grab a battery it's somewhere? Oil tank temperature. Let's swap this to chemistry at least. Extra diagnostic playback loop. Okay, that swaps out each area separately. Wait, hold on, something happened to that. It's no longer glowing. It's lo okay, it lost. It. Okay, it you need the right room. Good. Okay. It could be that the, some of these take power away from the central unit. Actually, yeah, that take that root trap takes a lot of power from that, from the looks of it. And how much does this one take? Chemistry take okay that takes a block. Uh, woodcraft takes up a lot as well. How about that? that this shows how much power there is available, I'm guessing. Uh, increasing oil this one is okay, it's locked because the other one is moving, I'm guessing. So I'm pretty sure we hit that one before. At least we, we may not need to look up a uh, you know, walkthrough, or at least now. Okay, the machine has detected something. New so heaven. was enough to get it to come down. Yep. Uh, let's at least get to use this then for a moment. It should keep us hidden from it. Probably also good for getting through low areas. Where is it? No 
always jump down. Uh, there it is. It's in front of you. Uh, oh wait. Oh, <laughs> that's a. That's parts. <laughs> what was hiding behind a pole? But oh, no, we are so <laughs> part of it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Went for the elevator. Why? Okay, what have we here? I can really. Oh, can I not? Uh, oh, that stupid thing didn't hear the noise across the room. Okay, transition go in there. state here and search. Come on, go back up. The stupid bird brain. Definitely doesn't even have a brain. There's a note on the side of this thing. Power oh, powering the electroshock machine. There's insufficient power to upgrade the electroshock machine. Until this is rectified, I will have to compensate freeing up more power for the electric by configuring the other laboratory pro uh, platforms so they draw the least power. Yeah, that the other lab machines are out. draining away too much electricity. Nice. Okay, it's outside of our site now. Maybe not. Remove this playback after the final field test. Okay, this one drains less power at least. Above us now. Wait, this really has calm. Take this opportunity to charge Somewhere over there. There it Where is. Where does it say how much power do we need? With this the enemy. Very likely it'll drain more than weaponry stuff. And I'm I'm thinking that will show. Or the coil in the center will show. Yeah. Either way, general detection state. Okay, got a glimpse, but not enough to come look. Yeah, we're, we're, we're going to need to figure out a way to get the heads of these stupid things, because that should at least make them blind. Because no bullets. Yeah, someone going around with. Bad brakes or something, Back squealing like freaking playback loop. Yeah. I the hope that wasn't audible on. Now. Oh. Okay, thank you for pointing it out, Emily. I was a bit distracted. I'll give you anything you want! Stop! Don't do this! So much will be lost! An age of advancement! Too bad it had to come to this, Jindosh. And if I combine the acid against a copper plate, it... What does it do? Don't tell me a stupid thing jump down. Okay, oh, come on. I knew here. that a moment ago. Does anyone know the oh, answer? Yeah. What, what is all that intellect worth if its only goals are I power and destruction? I had an idea. It's a good question to ask. Which science? Um, the question should not be if you should, you should uh, do it. Or wait, 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 wait. Can, we hmm? yeah, can we talk to him still? Can we still talk to him? I tried to when I was oh. closer, but it didn't show up. Uh, yeah. For now, let's go get so close and get the hell out. That took more than long enough, like 45 freaking minutes. Yeah, it, it could have ended it a lot earlier by just killing him and accepting the kill, but yeah. I, 
want to I want to try at least as hard as I can to not uh, kill the, the big targets. Since well, killing them has the biggest effect on uh, if things go low or high chaos. And, and and again, I did not die on purpose <laughs> after I met and ended up killing him. I honestly thought I still had enough health to take a hit. So. Which, with these clockworks, we should probably assume uh, no amount of health is good en enough to take another hit and survive. And stay out of their freaking way. Okay. Now at least we can get out of this freak show. Get the right yeah, configuration to get out again. This, in this level is interesting as a uh, oh, hell man. Probably if I wasn't streaming this, I'd be stuck here for at least another two hours or so just trying to figure everything out. Because it is just so freaking intricate. But yeah, I, I only have a limited amount of time I'd be willing to waste on people uh, who would be watching this. Who's cockle was as weak as a minnow. He tugged on it nightly, and ever so. I'll have a look around. I thought someone. Okay, who dies? What? She's I'll be telling mission. this story you at the office. Right. Jump her! I'll get to work. Back here. If I do that, they'll make a fight. Of course, they can follow the blood of mobile. At last, oh. but where no, you is run. Jindosh? Oh. Hello. Please ignore the gunfire. Oh. Oh. scary me! You need to lower the numbers at least. One of them still got a stab in. Wait, can't you link them together? Yeah, what what the hell were they even doing here? Only the two that were unconscious there were supposed to be here. Oh, got it. I thought I'd selected Domino there, not the Shadow Cat effect. There, there, Hylian. There, yeah. there. Let me pat your brain for you. Who's Anyone there? here? Show yourself. Okay. At okay, least now we know. This time. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe this time we knock them out first? Yeah. If we're moving Sokolov? The rumors are true about the crown killer. The old empress, really? What a bunch of degenerates. Okay, yeah. I I shouldn't have assumed that the way back would be clear. So when you assume you make an ass out of you and me. Hey, yeah. You've um, been found guilty of standing in the way. Oh, you I hope that was here. number three. <laughs> Only problem you now is going to be... Ours. You won't get away! Back here! Let me show you! You aren't going anywhere! She's wounded! Let's finish her! Hold They are all lame. This is way taking way too many freaking... <laughs> They were laying. Why? I saw the swirl around all three of their heads. Okay. What happened? I think one of them killed their uh, the red one, something. but the rest didn't die. Either that, or you accidentally stop. They made you stop choking her. Maybe. Either way, we're taking a different path. <laughs> Yeah, probably a better idea. Actually, I just realized a way, way, way better road that we can take, even though it will take us back towards the freaking clockwork, because the jackass is a shortcut to the entrance. Or the pad. Oh, 
this is still his place, so he still has it. Oh yeah, we just need to lower the drawbridge. However, sort of bridge you call that. And then we're straight up yet. Dodge this fucking thing. Okay, it's following us. <laughs> Good boy. No, no time for naps and snacks. Playback for detection registered. The machine. Uh, uh, pretty sure I can't carry him around with this. So run. Now there's three of them. Can I lure one or two of you over this way and get rid of you that way? Because I can still jump over. Nice little shuffle work there, but that's two of them coming Combat over. Combat protocol six. Number three. Okay. This is probably the smartest thing I've done in a while. So we just run back out, hit that. I said hit. Oh, yes, it was hit. And there we go. Tactical <laughs> mode. Now, if that had killed, that would have been... Bye-bye! Oh, he's still standing up. <laughs> Let's just hope the seawater does uh, bad for his gears. <laughs> and still there is that one. <laughs> um, here am. Hmm? Are these clockworks grinding your gears? Yes, they are very, very much. <laughs> Can we get rid of this one by hitting the switch again? Something's Do I get moved down there. Sorry, Do I get bonus blood? point for the pun? Yep. Yay! Push here. Put that thing away so it's not standing on anything that moves. Uh, wait. But yeah, that's part of why... I... Oh. That's part of why I think this place would be so interesting to explore on its own because you could use the, you could use everything shifting around to seal enemies off and that's behind these general detection state uh, like we like we haven't been wait hold on look next to you other way and that's supposed to be on a roof because we're, yeah, this below us is now a sealed off room. Actually, is there anything on this that can be opened or smashed? I mean, like, if that's supposed to be on the roof, won't, act won't activating it again lead you to the roof? Maybe. As in an exit? Can we even swap things around from here? I think we might have accidentally locked us out for a bit. So I'll just put Sokolov down somewhere where he shouldn't get crushed. I emphasize on should. And extending exploration of the area. Typewriter. I see a button there at least. So they they were smart enough to make sure you couldn't wrap yourself permanently into a corner. I'm pretty sure at least some player probably has had that happen eventually. Okay. We hit that. Grab Sokolov. Was it just standing there on accident again, or was it actually moving there? 
be safe from the, well, the moving parts. Still idling. Take this opportunity to back charge second coil. Okay. Okay, it's just walking back and forth between two points, apparently. Okay. Anything to distract it with? Something to throw? Other than Sokolov? Or do we just run? How I much think we, do you we have? run. As good a moment as we'll get. And it was still a bad yes. just get out. Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, I'm definitely going to remember that one. <laughs> Good or bad? Uh, a mix of both. But I'll, I'll definitely be trying to replay that again. And let's just get the hell out of here with uh, our hobo friend. No, I would, I'm pretty sure I wouldn't be comfortable going through a thing like this backwards. Okay. How much further is it actually back to the freaking carriage or was it parked right next to this thing? Decent distance still. He's a but deep it, sleeper. Yeah, at the very least, I think most of the guards here are down. Still, for the certainty, making a save gain. Yes, I think we left three guards. I hope you kissed your kids goodbye this morning. Uh, what? Excuse me. That was a weird voice. That sounded void distorted. We never ex disabled that one. Are those idiots still up on the freaking roof here? No, it seems they finally figured out how to climb down. We're playing dice tonight. You in? Nah, not this time. Okay, are those just normal people or is that another freaking ambush? What? Somebody's not feeling well. <sighs> they didn't look like owlers. We should be able to walk through that without too much harassment. They'll probably still go freaking running. A body? Here? He's yes, not yes, dead. Yes, no. He's Help drunk. Someone! Anyone! Guards! Someone! That's not right! Grandpa, you're strong people. Don't what? panic. I won't let her escape! Oh. Okay, that was some more destroyed power. I'm not interested in much more beyond that and just getting out. Not that. Very much doubt that will hold them. Before he freaking drowns. You did it. How is he? He's frail. And wounded, but he'll recover. I didn't think it was possible. You must have a story to tell. I'll hear it back at the ship. Let's go now. <laughs> okay. Didn't kill anyone! For once. <laughs> okay, but we're still in the freaking corner between uh, non lethal and assault, though. <sighs> that, 
this will probably be the only time that we'll get merciful but, with how things have been overall going for chaos. Us. Overall chaos low. Yeah. And that's the main goal that we're going for. We did miss a rune and some bone charms, but uh, yeah, the I'm one just, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure <laughs> we're all just glad to be out of that place. Yeah, we miss a lot of blueprints though. I, I almost bet most of those blueprints were in the damn mansion. Probably. Also, these are some odd special actions. Uh, found his stash and robbed the ticket booth. Okay, Look, these make it sound like they are, are supposed to be going to have to have an effect later on or something. For now, let's just get back to the freaking boat. And hopefully it won't take another hour to get to the next mission area. Let's see. Six hours later. <laughs> another strange visit. You've awakened with a strange feeling. Again. Oh, you got a trophy. Um, the head. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, I I might I might really turn the brightness up a tiny bit. Uh, visuals Bright brightness 15 okay yeah let's uh, up that uh, until the darkest signal is barely visible I, I can still see it here and here but let's put it here for now that's only one higher okay. that oh what is at the frit uh, at the low end of this then that is zero. You're kidding me, then. Okay. okay. Let's go with that for the moment. 18. Yes, apply. That should make things a lot more visible. A bit too visible. So let's just lower that back down a tiny bit, then. Because this, there's still supposed to be darkness and everything. Yes. Okay, that's a bit better. Still keeps a shadow and doesn't cut the light brighten things up too much. Okay. Okay, we have the wall still there. So that means... Ah, there's the void. <laughs> I was predicting to wonder, are we just high or something this time? Oh, dear. The void, but somehow different this time. precious tower and turned your father into cold stone how difficult for you but when i was young sweet jessamine and i were closest sisters sharing a secret emperor coldwin had another daughter born in shame to a kitchen maid am i dreaming if not how is delilah doing this yeah i had a feeling from the plants that delilah messing with somehow. Just as the outsider prefers just a stone, I think. But if she's... I very much doubt that she'd be telling the truth. So let's just have a look what else she has to say. I told you when you were Someday. What did I do? Oh, good. I swear. Next year, I promise. Good 
be bullshitting us, of course. And, okay, that does... That does mean... Yeah, that... <laughs> Her saying that she was close to Jessamine explains a bit of a misunderstanding I think I had earlier. But I think during the, you know, the DLC of the first game we thought it was that she was friends with Emily. But yeah, she's much, much too old for that. It certainly was back then. So it would make more sense that she'd be you know, friends with uh, yeah, Jessamine, you know, Emily's mother. During the day, Jessamine and I played games in the tower. But at night, I'd go back to the servants' quarters for cockroaches and thin gruel. Emperor Daddy would visit and tell me if I was good. Next year, I'd be old enough to come to court to be a princess. Then one day, pretty Jessamine broke something worth a fortune, and the spy master caught us. She claimed I did it, and he whipped me in the garden house until I bled. My mother lost her kitchen job, and that night we were out on the streets with no place to sleep. I didn't break it. And Delilah has a lot more to gain here by just plain lying. So I think she might be partially telling the truth, the truth that, that she is uh, Jessamine's half sister. But beyond that, I'm not buying anything. She's already just shown herself what kind of person she is. I don't think it would throw them her. out over one such small thing. Of Dunwall, ending up in debtor's prison. Jessamine died quick on an assassin's blade, but my mother lingered for weeks after a fat guard broke her jaw. They threw me out when she died. I looked up at the lights of Dunwall Tower and swore revenge. Washing bedsheets in a brothel, I painted on the side until Anton Sokolov took me as a student. That's the polite word for it. I was crafty even before the outsider marked me and survived the worst the Empire could offer. Now it's your turn. My mother's sick. She needs help. Your mother kicked off while you were out begging. She's another bag of bones now, girl. What? No! Your sentence is served and she'll be tossed out with the others. You can't stay here anymore. Again, she sounds sincere through all of this, but she has all the reason in the world to bullshit Emily because yeah, she's playing it. she's a threat. So yeah, what better way to weaken a threat you can't find besides through the dream world for it than to yeah commit, commit psychological warfare against it. It's hard to know yeah. whether my dear old aunt is telling the truth or not. Even Emily there admits it. She could be lying for her thief and thieves. That's yeah. Well, she's in the void, so it's hard to know if she can make fake memories or not. Yeah. When I was young, the loyalist conspiracy that kidnapped me also took Anton Sokolov. They brought him to the pub where I was being held, and locked him in a cage meant for dogs. And you know what? Sokolov laughed at them. He taught me lessons and told me funny stories. He seemed immortal. His mind shaped our age. That's changed. The old man I rescued he doesn't talk much. He eats what we give him, groans in his sleep, coughs out blood. I thought he'd tell me the secret to defeating Delilah and saving the Empire. But I'm not even sure he knows where he is. Mother, that wasn't.
wasn't a dream, was it? Am, Am I to blame, blame for Delilah's bitterness? No. She's the one who orchestrated the coup. Our, Our decisions, decisions have weight. I feel my time, time drawn to an end. Soon. What? She neither admitted nor denied there, but that did feel a bit more like she was. Uh, well, she, she didn't mention it directly at all, but her, uh, her talking about her dis dis decisions having weight, that could be seen as uh, supporting that Delilah was telling the truth. Though it might. Maybe she did something that angered her, but it was not that. So it could, she could be lying about something else. And she he could be admitting to something else as well. Yeah. We'll just have to see if more evidence, if anything of actual evidence shows up. Because, yeah, at the moment it's just she said, he said. Yeah, before we know... The Maybe she's just angry against the Empress for still getting a pretty boyfriend or something. And also... Yeah, often enough, often enough mm -hmm. people will just fabricate stories. Uh, if, if they manage to... If they hate someone so much that they actually start to fabricate reality to justify their actions. But again, we won't know any more until we get actual evidence or corroborating uh, testimonies, which are going to be hard, seeing as how long ago that it was. Yeah, do we, uh, I feel hard to believe that they accidentally broke something, and due to what the daughter did, they threw out the entire family. But that, here's my problem with, the, with their story. The Emperor, the daddy, was known and beloved for being kind-hearted and kind and all that. So... Yeah, I don't believe uh, Delilah, for that doesn't sound like uh, he, something he will do. I'll need to double check on that, but I do recall uh, Emily's grandfather being mentioned at some point, and not in a terrible way at least. But it could also have been that it was done without his knowledge or something, or if he that he couldn't... Mm. Like that the uh, staff uh, threw them out, and that he couldn't act without revealing his uh, misconduct, so to speak. Mm, but still, you'd think he'd try to subtly support them in some way then. Mm. Then again, this is, a, this is a pretty shit world, so... Yeah, and it, it wasn't just that she broke something, but something of extreme value. So, yeah, it... It's all a, it's all a web of, yeah, what's ifs and, uh, yeah. Though, the, the memory report felt a bit cheesy. They felt very painted, you could say, and well, Delilah is a painter, so again. All of this is just conjecture until we get something to support any of it. So it might be better off to move on instead of theorizing for the remaining hour. No, no, I want to theorize for six more hours. <laughs> okay, then you should go okay, to then, okay. game theory. <laughs> I might look into that sometime if they have done it. I don't think they've done a video on this, but I I have to say I'm very interested in what the hell is actually going to be the, the truth about this all. Yeah, me too. Yeah, let's see. Thank you. It's something I should say to your face, but it's hard for me. Thank you for what you did, bringing Anton back. Uh, what would I have done without him pottering around the ship, mumbling and stroking his greasy beard? I wanted to find him on my own, but hearing what you went through, I'm impressed. Pardon. Anyway, enjoy this bottle of the captain's reserve. Good stuff. I got from an a good stuff. I got from an aristocrat. So wanting quick passage out of Karnica a while back. You need it now that Anton is back. If you want to sleep, his snoring cut straight through the bulkhead. <laughs> nope. Okay, sorry about that. I. 
I'd forgotten that this thing isn't freaking silent anymore. Let me fix that right away. Do not disturb. Okay. Yeah, one, one of the reasons I was having some issues today was because I found out that people had been trying to contact me and that because I uh, muted uh, the ringtone or the sound that WhatsApp gives, it would also somehow completely silence my ringtone. Yeah. Moving oh. On. Another chapter in the Book of Emily. Let's see anything new here. What a weird name. We saw that one. Okay, nothing new there. Then here. Sokolov is safe. I rescued Sokolov. The men spent years serving my family, educating me in both intellectual subject and bo body humor. <laughs> and now a small part of what I owe me has been repaid. I'm just sorry I can't offer any more comfortable accommodations. This dreadful wail, dank and cramped as it is, is our home for now. He's been living here with Megan for years, but in his current condition, I wish we could make him more comfortable. I was able to stop Kieran Jindash. His weaponized mind won't be a threat now. His thoughts scattered and his memories destroyed. By his own device, no less. When Sokolov is feeling better, maybe he'll have an opinion on whether I did the right thing or not by killing Jindash outright. Or by, oh, by not killing the Jindash. Anyway, it's a relief to know that the last clockwork soldiers remaining in the Empire are the only ones there will ever be. Delilah in the Void. I dreamed of Delilah Copperspoon. No, this was more than a dream. It was in the void. Somehow Delilah brought me there. I don't know if she was showing me the true past or fabrication. She spoke of my grandfather, Emperor Uhorn, Jacob uh, Caldwin. History says he was a man of honor who served his people, but Delilah, sh uh, Del uh, De Delilah showed me all his promises unfulfilled, all those easy lies. And she showed me my mother, Jessamine, as I never imagined her. Spoiled and petty, Titled, and finally a great injustice. Delilah's mother dying in a debtor's prison. So many questions, but how do we sort the truth from the lies? Yeah. Uh, one last thing on this before we finally freaking move on with it. Uh, history is written by the victor after all. And yeah, when you're the emperor, there's a lot you can scrub underneath the. You know, you know, there's not a lot you can just put on the carpet and get a minute. Yeah. And also, often seeing that skull, I say, uh, he probably wasted a lot of money on wooden aesthetic that was not needed. Yeah. I'd, I'd certainly pay for one of these things to over a replica of it. Oh yeah, they're, they're pretty decoration, but... Wait. Is that why they could still attack you without the head? The head is just a decoration? Uh, wait, no, he could see with, with the... Jindar wanted me to back. help him with a rather complicated problem. It would have enabled him to make his clockwork soldiers at a fraction of the yeah, cost. I'm pretty sure a part of their clever work man. is word, just magic. Not clever enough. What's wrong with people like that? A restless mind and an empty heart, perhaps. Jindosh would have snuffed me out as soon as he got bored. I appreciate what Emily did for me, freeing me from that place. I searched for you, Anton. I would have found you. I knew you'd try, Megan. And they kept me going after they gave me to Jindosh. Either way, you're back now. I'm glad. Yeah, as much as they bicker about each other. Ah, the Empress has risen. A peaceful sleep, I hope. Nothing like the pillows at Dunwall Tower, made of goose feathers. Sit down when you want to talk. Yeah, as, as much as they bicker, they still deeply care for each other. Also, I'm pretty sure I heard a room or something nearby when we woke up. Or was that in the... Oh, no, I... I I think that was the. I think that was the heart's own noises that was made here. Anton Sokolov, painter, inventor, and philanderer, famous throughout the Isles, loyal only to himself. Maybe I should not point that at the balls. 
expect so many lines of the heart on him. Is that finally the last one now? No. This is old man. Okay, but I think that that is so the last. The once great alchemist. I can see why you like her. She's, She's almost as secretive as you. Megan Foster. She wasn't always a ship captain. Enough on that. There's probably videos just on how all of the lines that the heart has on everyone alone. Anton, when I brought you back, you could barely speak. But it's been three days. They tortured him. His body is covered with bruises. Delilah has the throne, and my father is missing. This is Anton Sokolov, the greatest mind in the Empire. No, Emily. Megan is right. I can make electricity move from one side of the room to the other, but Delilah is beyond my understanding. When I came to Sir Konos, I meant to leave everything behind. But when the assassination started, I couldn't ignore it. By the time Megan and I connected the murders to the Duke, it was too late. The crown killer came for me. It kept me alive from my knowledge, but I saw things. Jindosh often had a visitor, Brianna Ashworth. She's the curator of the Royal Conservatory. Yes, Ashworth is dangerous, as obsessed with the occult as Delilah. Apparently, she's working on a device called the Oraculum. There's more to her than either of you know. If Ashworth is one of Delilah's lieutenants, I need to eliminate her. Who knows what this device is capable of, or what she's up to. Okay. To say this, the earlier photo we found of her, she looked at nicer on. Here she really looked battle-scarred. Looks oh, like part of her face are made out of wood or something. But that's probably because of the, the black and white nature of these drawings. Yeah, and I think those might still be sketch lines. Yeah. Hmm. She should still be on the boat. Let's see. Temporary closure of the conservatory. Dear patrons, to an alarming increase in the might population and with the full knowledge and approval of Duke El Valle himself, the Royal Conservatory will remain closed for the foreseeable future. Our apologies, Brianna Ashworth, curator. Yeah, there was, there was something Wait. earlier as well about something being, about the conservatory being closed for some bullshit reason. Oh no, she's, she's using it for something else, ain't she? And I don't dare to have a portrait with the light around. There's a spark in your eyes. Something other than hate, which surprises me given all that's happened. 
Maybe I should begin a series of bloodfly-related sketches, infested corpses and the like. Um, why? Uh, why? Why indeed? And uh, wait. I have trouble remembering my mother's face sometimes, but there might be some resemblance. Painted from memory. While trying to learn more about what the Duke of Sarkonos was up to, I began hearing a name I hadn't heard in almost two decades. Delila Copperspoon. We painted together for a time, but her obsession with the occult and the Caldwin family took her out of my circles. I saw some of her paintings. Beautiful, but somehow sinister. You knew Delilah? All this time traveling with you and you never mentioned My them? past is none of your business. You don't own everything, Empress. Another life, another life. Megan came to Karnaka to reinvent herself. Maybe I did as well, but the Duke of Sarkonos had other ideas. Okay, I was expecting a bit less than that. Megan isn't too happy with us, even if she is helping us. Why isn't a plate in front of her painting? Uh, don't know, but yeah, I'd still be uncomfortable with having that thing around, especially if well, they don't know just how occult she is. You know, they know that she is into the occult, but. I'm guessing to a degree they don't really, uh, really know she is a full-on witch because yeah. Yeah, Emily has told them that uh, her is now uh, yeah, probably getting shit on by pigeons in her front garden. Uh, but yeah, maybe the paint is a harmless, but of the same what she does with statues, I'll be nervous with the painting as well. Yeah, there's a good chance that she has... Uh, uh. Some ability to uh, Dear passengers, I'd like to offer my apologies for being such a grumpy captain. First to Anton, who I called a Sino Gold when he decided to bring live blood flies aboard for study. Not a single day passes without me staring in delight at those little marvels of nature. <laughs> Second, my apologies to whoever broke the blood fly tank. Uh, allowing them to flutter down to the engine room, bringing joy to this sad boat of mine with the gentle humming of their soft wings. I deeply regret calling you a clumsy psycho guano. But now that we've put all, <laughs> now that we've all had time to enjoy their charming company, can someone please exterminate every lost blood fly on my ship, <laughs> Megan? <sighs> uh, I think if. If, I think if she lays on another layer of uh, sarcasm on top of that uh, whale-side thick layer, this boat is going to freaking sink like a brick. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Oh my god! She has... Uh, oh. She will not speak much more when she does right! Oh god! Gods and goddesses, you do know how to write. Uh oh. <laughs> Trip to I the saw market. the last word. Uh, Megan, I thought of a few things I need when you go into Karnaka. I'd get them myself, but you know what it's like for uh, these old bones to walk so far. I need a smaller shirt. Seems everything I own falls off me now, and you're right. I suppose I need some soap. And a good hair tonic for my beard and what's left around the sides of my skull. You like the Tivian stew I made last week, so if you'd like to have that again, get lamb if we can afford it. If not, don't worry. My appetite isn't what it used to be. A bit of bread and a few shrimp will get me through most days. But don't forget the wine, of course. If that's not uh, too much, I could use more paint. I'm out of cerulean, ochre, uh, ochre or however you're supposed to pronounce that, an ultramarine. Anton. Not the Space Marines, people. Not the Space Marines. Also, if he drew that in three days, I'm seriously impressed. He may be old and uh, a bit dimmed. Like, every flame eventually grows dull. Still, three days. 
Yeah, actually many great artists usually do many of their masterpieces in uh, very old days or early days. I'm trying to think if that was there before or not. I might... It might have been, but... Uh, we'll have... We'd have to check I think it's footage. new. Let's see. The Cinderé Gift, a study by Emily Brooks. A more eclipse weights. I think I should note on this that before we that that's an interesting last name or something. Uh, yeah, we yeah we've read that one again. It's about their windmills. Okay. So let's Big go, fish. Let's go find the good old doctor, the good young doctor. Oh yeah, that's still locked. Uh, she'd be over here. For a man of his age. Sokolov's making better progress than I would have expected. And again, they didn't say that he was painting, so yeah, maybe it was already on the boat somewhere. Good to see you're still with us. Thank you for helping, Anton. Sokolov's not the only one making a rapid recovery. I'll be good enough to leave soon. There's a lot to do. Of course, unless the Duke falls, he'll undo my best efforts here. Then we'll have to make sure Duke Luca Abel doesn't overstay his welcome. Karnaka's key leaders are flawed for certain. After all, this is settled with the Duke, and the time of the coup has passed. Whichever ones are left standing could change things here. Consider that, as you come face to face with the Duke's remaining associates. I appreciate your thoughts on the matter, Alexandria. It is good. Matter from oh, cool moment. I saw that you know, the title was "Blood Fly Angel Station" because the the marker for the mission was, or the, the objective was hovering over it. Let's see. Letter from Lucia Pastor, dear Doctor Hefezia. I couldn't be happier about the news you gave me. The people here in Dust District desperately need someone like you. I understand that you cannot see patients in Edemeyer anymore, and that it's too dangerous to go back to your apartment. I'll arrange something. We'll find you a safe place to hide and give free consultations, as you suggested. <coughs> I'll send word about it via the Miners Family Committee, and some friends I have at the Silver Spike newspaper. Welcome back to the city. Oh, past was her last name, okay. I thought we got word it was one of the members of that, uh, you know, crazy religious group. Yeah, the overseers. Yeah. Okay. Do they have a nest here? Or do I just need to cut down each and every one of them? I don't see a nest. Wait, this is an infestation over there. Just see the bugs. I'm not too sure I want to use explosives in the vicinity of the engine. Gonna... I think that didn't do anything. So yeah, we'll just have to hack and slash our way through this. And I still haven't used these freaking stun mines. Wait, what the? Might as well also thin out another infestation. I thought I heard someone scream on the boat. I didn't hear that then. Let's go tell Megan that her ship is clear. I, I'm, I'm guessing if we hadn't eradicated them, then they'd probably have made a freaking nest down there. I don't think there will be anything more to find on the ship since we already plucked it clean earlier. But new security railing here? Seriously? We'll take the skiff. I don't want to bring the dreadful whale any closer than we have to. There is a small dock in Syria Gardens, close to the conservatory. That's as far as I can take you. Ready to go? Yes, let's go. Okay. 
let's see. The Royal Conservatory. While held captive, Anton Sokolov learned the identity of one of Delilah's chief allies, Rihanna Ashworth. An architect of the coup that took the throne in Dunwall, Ashworth is powerful and full of secrets. She is building a mysterious device for Delilah. Rihanna Ashworth must be eliminated. Uh, though before we go, I'm going to have to step aside for a quick bit. Uh, I will extend the stream if needed for. Okay. I guess I mean I want to get a bit more to drink.
Okay, I'm back. Welcome back. Okay. Uh, Welcome back, boss. That was about five minutes. One, two, three, four, five, uh, six, seven, mm. right as well. Hmm? Cold, cold, cold. What the heck? That ice cube shorts in my chair again. <laughs> I heard that. Anyways, Bye. sorry for that. And Brush you off my chair now. There we go. Yeah, here we go then. There will be a grand guard presence outside the Royal Conservatory. Inside, be prepared for anything. Ashworth runs with an eclectic crowd. They'll be the real danger. Someday I'd like to know more about how you met Ashworth. I know you would. Trust me, Ashworth is important to Delilah, which brings up something else. You might be able to exploit the Abbey of the Everyman in removing Ashworth from play. Turns out the Vice Overseer in Karnaka has been watching Ashworth from a hidden outpost near the Royal Conservatory. Check it out first if you want more options. Remember, if she's still working with Delilah, Ashworth is a grave threat. Thanks, Megan. See you soon. Okay. Curious? Read around in the Overseer outpost how there is a... <clears throat> let's just call it disagreement between uh, both sects. I thought the old Duke Theodanus outlawed Underwood export to protect the trees. I can't keep track of all the decrees. My client's refurbishing a gazebo, adding an exotic southern touch. I don't get it. When I went to Dunwall, I brought back a river cross shell to use as an ashtray. Because it reminds me of good times. But what's the point of buying wood from a country you never visited? Lady Shersha has money, so she gets the wood she wants. Okay, so familiar. I think he also did voices in this one of one probably. That's very possible. And it's good to know that the old duke was uh, very caring for the nature, unlike the current one. Yeah, the current one is <clears> going to <throat> burn down. I will guess it's going to end up burning the whole country down at this rate, though. Yeah, we, we both know that he's likely on our list to have his throat slit. <sighs> so yeah, we'll get rid of him one way or another. And we don't see any arms, so these guys should be okay with us at the moment. You said they, the they both have those. two arm each. If that was the one, if that one, one has a branch, fly, then that's all I'm gonna say. Uh, I mean. Oh! You made weapons. The job ain't so bad. Beats cheating people all day in a bank. What I get? A sock. One useless sock. That sounds like a guard. It is a guard. Liam Bryant. We've heard that sure name before as well. Money, that's for sure. Uh, I, I, can, I can see... I can definitely see why this game... Uh, you know, fell out of favor real quick uh, because of the issues it had you know, and still has to a degree but when it does start to get working it, it really shows that they put in their work oh yeah they maybe just went a bit too big what they could handle on some cases yeah. anyone here show yourself but yeah, hopefully they learn that for the next game and able to do the proper polish. I have heard a lot of people say good things about Deathloop, where it is the... Uh, let's see... Arcane made Dark Messiah of Might and Magic. I'm not sure if they did anything between that and Dishonored 1. Then, well, Dishonored 2. And the next game I know that has their name on it is Deathloop. So, hmm, can it really be that they got this far with just four games? Hmm. 
There's probably some stuff I'm missing because I don't know of it. Uh, we might look around. Maybe they've been. Uh, they may have been co-working on other games as well. Could be. And yes, we will. We've got Dark Messiah on of Might and Magic on the to-do list as well. Which I fear you're gonna have way too much fun with. With me as well. Oh, let's start with this again. And I do know that Dr. Messiah is related to Heroes of Mighty Magic games. And my favorite of those uh, games are 3 and 5. Okay. Free is just that really has a lot of fans as well, I believe. Uh, okay, that's the first. Oh, well, I guess they have some. Uh, main, there are many that would dislike it for, like, they love the music, but for. wasn't. Uh, had good ideas, but also many bad ideas. It was very. hush posh of a lot of things. It felt a, kind of confusing. Okay, I, I know Even I heard the, something with four, so it might have been them just mixing things up. I'd, I'll need to check up on Seth's videos. Uh, people who know that name probably know who I'm talking about. If uh, you don't, uh, just Googling Seth probably won't find him. And uh, he's a bit of an acquired taste of a game review, I'd say. <laughs> so be warned if you do find him. Oh dear. Uh, right, I was to say... I think I also heard that the story was also very mixed. Like, had good parts and a lot of bad parts. Like, the story of that world had a bit of a quality drop. So I feel like uh, when they did make five, they just started over with a new story, new world, and everything. Which, apparently, which I find like, alright, that's a good idea. You start something new before you just drag on something else a bit too long. Okay. Well, we'll probably never find out on stream because I'm not uh, strategic enough to be streaming a game like uh, Heroes of the Might and Magic franchise. Uh, yeah, I think those could be a bit... Long. A bit long to stream. Uh, what the? <laughs> Pardon? Mine collapses numerous casualties? Representative from the Miners Family Committee reports that another silver mine has partially collapsed, leaving eight miners injured and killing twelve. The committee maintains that the Duke's unrealistic production goals were the true culprit, citing the overlong shifts that have been in practice since mine owner Erasmus Stilton disappeared. The mines are now managed directly by the Grand Palace until such a time as Stilton returns or until a new director can be found. However, the Grand Palace's official statement blamed the collapse on human error and threatened to arrest anyone found guilty of demoralizing the people of Karnica. Which is, of course, vague enough to basically count as anything. It's, wait, wait, it's wait, like wait. those. In, in some places, it's still illegal to criticize the royal family or the, uh, the government. Uh, I can say this. During the old. Rule thing here, guilt of demoralizing the people, Connack. All right, arrest the Duke. <laughs> He's guilty of that. <laughs> yeah. We at the Connacher Gazette certainly support the effort to maintain Sir Conor's unity. Our thoughts go to the families of those injured or killed. So, not openly taking a stance which for their own existence is probably the best, at the moment at least. I'll leave those be. <laughs> Silly deals. <laughs> I will, however, grab those. It will probably help to get the smell of eels out of our nose, even though they were jarred. Okay. Don't forget, eel pie is still a thing, apparently. Okay, I guess you could make pie out of anything. Yeah, I didn't like pie for this time, but when I finally tried taco pie and chicken pie, those were the only pies I like. 
But those are more dinner pies. Is so much better than dried. What? What fresh picked? Hmm. Oh, oh, there. Could use a muff. There's a nice tin of hagfish in the cupboard. Yeah, I the Lila has a new cover. If I want to dance, then I can twirl around all I want. Just yeah. try and stop me. I'm... Yeah, this must have been one of the ones that we managed to dodge as we were fleeing uh, from <laughs> the clockwork house. Witches, of course. Next time, I'll try it with a waxing gibbous. And if that doesn't do it, then I've got no idea how to yeah, fix it. Looks like Delilah might have a bit more influence on these witches than before. Okay, at least it doesn't it doesn't use power if you can get a bead on them. I just need yeah. to do this rap without getting spotted. We have number two somewhere there. How many days till the next red moon? Let's see. It was six? Three? Okay, we don't have any sleep guards. We need to find a black market trader for that. But I'm hoping we can at least grab this one and show her out. Or not. Oh, don't find a stranger. Let me hold that for a shape. I want you to tear it to pieces. I'll paint my nails red. How do you want to die? I have. Calling for her. Send her back. See what I. There we go. I only you proved us. Okay. I'm pretty sure those plants were still alive. For just now. Uh, are you saying what to say? Finally, you were able to pull that trick off, and yeah. Yeah, not die. Yeah. Or have Do the them die. Yeah. Do you think we see what caught caught me off guard to silence there a bit? Yeah. Uh, well, what's that? So what happened to them? I'm guessing some spell of theirs broke. So it, seemed, it felt like someone was stinging us in the back there, but I'm guessing that was these things. They bit stuck in the freaking wall. Wait, they were shooting forms at you. Yep. Let's get that away. Okay, that was uh, very much an unintended encounter. They don't even have a bone charm hidden around here. In their area, there's still simply a lot. Uh, Wait, that seems to be one nearby. Two coins with that cat land? Well, no more, thank you. Place is a dump anyway. Did anyone ever find out what happened to Pearlton and Lieutenant Colbers? They probably ran off, you ask me. Must have been a thing for each other. Oh, she went missing a day before he did, and someone found an officer's pistol in the gutter. I think something else happened. Maybe they went inside the conservatory. Look, Karnaka's leaking people. We tell ourselves we're keeping it together, but everyone is afraid of what will happen when it really falls apart. True. Uh, yeah, it feels, it feels like uh, they are... that they said they could uh, break out into anarchy due to the damn duke. <laughs> Definitely aren't going well, that is for sure. Okay. Okay. Not enough of the sight on her. Trigger it. Cleaner this time, and without unnecessary deaths 
from people pulling on their freaking swords. No trespassing. Okay. Escape you for that sounds fishy. Bye bye. Like, what he said there will not gain anyone's favor. You look great. Enrico said to give you his regards. That donkey faced Cretan can open his wrist for all I care. Did you bring me something? The silver cigarette case, like we agreed? No, listen. I can't go on doing this. Stealing for you. I'll lose my job. Do you want to be a servant all your life? You're always talking about leaving Karnak on a big white boat, never to come back. You spend your days polishing silver cutlery. Come with me, Beatrix. Let's leave. Could we really get passage on a ship? What if they find us? You know I'll protect you. Just like when we were kids. Think about it. I promise. Okay, now I just need. Yeah, now I just want to leave those two untouched. Yeah. So there is. Okay, it's inside here. That's. This is his philosophy. Those are basically the people, the reason why we do want to avoid killing anyone. Since yeah. most of them are just doing the job they are forced to do. Hmm. Or just trying to survive without harming others. Yeah, what and consider this duke, I think it's not exactly an attempt to just say, I quit, without them shooting you for desertion. Or yeah. blaming is call, calling the desertion. More woes afflict dust district residents. Oh, the situation dear. inside the uh, Bastista district uh, continues to deteriorate at a rapid pace. Not long ago, the area prospered under the watchful eyes of mining operation owners Aramis Ar Stilton, but the well liked workers advocate disappeared three years ago under suspicious circumstances. And since then, the entire district has been afflicted by increasingly foul air and gang violence. A functionary from the Grand Sarconan Guard admitted that the group has essentially abandoned the area. It's simply too dangerous, he said, of the crime inside, what is now commonly called the Dust District. The overseers and the damn howlers fight for control in the streets with skirmishes every day, assassinations, torture, and so forth. After a while, we just decided to withdraw and let the two have it and add it. Yeah, the two have it out, he said. Sealed it up all behind a few well-placed walls of light. Uh, what? Yeah, you, you can bet. Yeah, you can bet that my money is on that the uh, Duke vanished. Oh, that first. Yeah, that, yeah, that Stilton there. I'll just take my leave. I got what we wanted, anyways. Another one nearby. Hey, what happened? Oh, that must be the two that we knocked out earlier. Guessing. Let's take a look. And miss. People of Karnaka. People of Karnaka. The Duke. The Duke. Some of you questions. Whoever you did that, we'll get them. them. You 
can't stay hidden forever. Oh. Hello? Anybody? He's been choked. I'm pretty sure that's the girl before we are so I'll leave it. Like, the more I hear from that mad duke, the more I dislike him. Yeah. That's actually, how many runes do we have? Let's see. We have, as far as runes go, we have none. Runes. Yeah, uh, wait, uh, okay. A theory. I think I kind of like, I think I knew why he killed his father. First off, he seems to be the type of bull kill his father just to gain control. Though I would not also be surprised if his father was planning to have someone else take the throne after him, due to know his son is not, you know, suited for the job. Yeah. I'm not sure. Hmm. I'm not sure if I. Actually, yeah, only a duke or the head of the group could do that probably if they have official official papers for it but yeah, i guess we, we get to know later but yeah i really don't like the the current duke he, he's a dictator yeah, and a dick. <laughs> uh, this looks like it could be prime blood flight territory. <gasps> I only noticed it because I saw a disarm pop up. So I'm not taking credit for that one. I okay, I hope told me for you you noticed that due to how, what the sound I made. Okay, there's a lot of them here. Why so much? But oh, they obviously knew people would try and try. Okay, here's the thing. It's horribly trapped. Yeah, this might be important to scare people off more than to actually kill them outright, I'm guessing. Yeah, no. If it was dark, then yes, I could hide him, but as quick as some light, yeah, people will know. And people that know how to disarm them will not be afraid at all. If, if, we had the, the, if we had the brightness a bit lower before, then I probably would have walked right into that first one at the very least. Oh, hello. Ah, pretty flowers. Look at you, making your way across this shuddering city. Brianna Ashworth would have been miserable as a member of high society, forced to win some bloated banker. Her only moments of real freedom, getting drunk at fancy balls, and slipping away to couple with strangers. It would have ended in an unhappy marriage and a late night plunge into an icy river. But, just before mother and father married her off, so many years ago, she found Delilah instead. It was all highways and graveyards after that, never looking back. Vice Overseer Byrne is an ambitious man, but he believes in the Abbey's mission, protecting the good people of the Empire against the likes of us. You know he'd be happier deep down if this ended with Brianna Ashworth's head on a spike. Maybe yours as well. Now again, we must keep in mind that the outsider is capable or seems to be capable of seeing multiple futures, just not how everything will go uh, will play out exactly. Yeah, 
here to give us a big clue that uh, maybe the overseer is not a good option. Maybe. Or it'll be a better option than pull out the Maybe he'd have some uh, something to, to get her killed, but he might also have something to get her captured. <clears throat> Knowing them, they would burn her at the stake. True, but at least it would keep things a bit more stable until she would be caught, <clears throat> tried and convicted. And for now, we are... We are at another place with freaking blood flies, so let's turn around. Uh, yeah, let's let's see if we can get there at least. Um, yeah, and then we'll probably call it. Yeah, first just to say, aren't we a bit overtime now? For I know you added uh, five minutes or something. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see. Someone there. Was I thought. Th did I just face straight through freaking words? No, he's running. <laughs> Freaking brown cards. Oh, no, not that way. Not with action. Not with the wall of light after at least. I'm pretty sure <laughs> even if we leap through it, we just get zapped. And yeah. Is us. I'm pretty sure I landed on wood there. I think you missed the wood. <laughs> oh. Okay, thank you. It's a better landing than the previous one, at least. It bloody ought to save at the worst point. Well, the worst point would have been in free fall. It was free fall. You just were lucky to land on the fence this time. Mm. Or you mean free fall is in falling through the map? Yeah, falling all the way down. Uh, yeah. We went kind of the long way for all of this. Thank you. Hopper is always nice. Okay. From the it's an opening. There is an opening. Because that certainly looks like a door that can be opened. There's also just so many more guards around in, in the first game. No one knows what's happening. Could be I just saw I'm just something. Watch my own back. Not a point where we'd get spotted, but yeah, the game would probably prove me wrong in about two seconds after that. So instead, let's head this way. Are those mammoth way. trees? Well, they're big at the very freaking least. I'm... These, these might be a type of redwood. Very possible. I wonder if redwood tree is a mammoth tree is a type of redwood. So I don't know you you don't want to be near if a mammoth tree falls over. Yeah. Okay. Well, normally when those have fallen over on a road, they just drill a hole through it instead of moving the entire tree. <laughs> yeah, that would be are true of the crown killer the old empress really what a bunch of degenerates <laughs> just the, the very second i drop down thinking he's going to take a piss in the corner Oop. Um, good evening you should have done that earlier Yep. 
<laughs> okay, I know I can be startling, but I don't think I'm supposed to be that scary. Ugh. Okay. Let's turn this thing off and then we'll off. There. Well, thanks, don't Stun the wasp nest. But at the very least, we should be safe now. And just for certainty, I'm going to get into this freaking corner here. Yeah, I also noticed something about the Delia's post over there. Yeah. That's not a good poster, is it? Yeah. That screams villain. Or full of themselves. Yeah. Well, she is both. Sorry. <laughs> a bit of an extended stream. Uh, yeah. <laughs> when nature calls, nature calls. Uh, I tried to... What the heck is that? I tried to avoid... Uh, I thought there was a, a gargoyle, but no, that's a... Leaves? Crunch? Yeah, it's a, I thought that's one was something over there. It looks like a damn dog or something. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know if that's accidental or they... Just left it in for the notice, like, let's see how many people that might scare. I'm making a screenshot. Oh, you screenshotted so. it. <laughs> but, yeah, yeah, I, I, <clears throat> I tried to uh, not have to BRB during streams, but, yeah, <laughs> when, when you need to go, you need to go. So, sorry about that. I had actually made a BRB screen, but I hadn't used it in so freaking long that I you know, kind of disabled that, I think. Uh, I'll look into <laughs> putting a shortcut on that again. <clears throat> but, yeah, other than that, it's a very productive stream, I'd say, this time. A lot more productive than we've had before. Yeah, we, we would have a bit of a struggle at the start. Yeah, but after that, things sped up quite well, I'd say. Oh, yeah. So, I, I'm going to try and uh, avoid <laughs> next of... Uh, yeah. I'm going to avoid uh, getting stuck in this area for the entirety of the, uh, the next stream. So yeah, we might just miss out on some stuff. Like, like, I've heard that that is one complaint with this game, that the getting to a specific mission area can take quite a long time, which... Hmm, yeah, they, they just, you can see how much stuff they've hidden here. Just getting uh, all of that is a good thing, of course, but it's also a bit too much to actually throw out in one area, I'd say. Yeah, I feel like they could have done several smaller missions instead of uh, many big ones. Yeah, I'm talking specifically about these in-between bits. They could have shortened that up. Like, it does make sense that, she can't, that uh, Megan can't put us right at the freaking doorstep. And even in Dishonored 1, we still had to move around through some areas, but they, those weren't as big as this. So, it's a bit of a double-edged sword. It's nice that they are bigger, more detailed areas, but they overstuff it a bit with collectibles. But, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Either way, though, uh, again, a very good string, so, yeah. Uh, Thursday, we'll be continuing with this. So I will give a bit of a warning. This this is likely not to come into play for quite some time. Uh, but I'm looking at getting a new job with uh, more variable uh, working hours. So, yeah, yeah, I might have to move my stream times eventually. Uh, there's no word yet on if I, they take me or not. But, yeah, I might have to move when uh, on which days or perhaps which times the stream would be. But again, we'll have to see how I end up with that and how that is going to affect the strings. Alright. So, yeah. For now at least things will continue as is. And yeah, if things will have to be changed, I'll of course notify uh, people of that. And yeah, we'll have to see how we adapt to that. But uh, again, that's for them. And yeah. Until then. Thank you and everyone who has been watching now or later. And thank you especially for here. Oh, you're welcome, my friend. 
And like I said, in two days, more Dishonored 2. But until then, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe, folks!